What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to quickly go through how you can convert your text files, Word documents, PDFs into a readable format that work on the Kindle, iPad and just ebooks in general. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do, open up your browser and type in Calibri into the search and at the top of it you'll see Calibri ebook management. Uh, when you get to the site, if you click on download and then they do it for three different platforms, Windows, OS X and Linux. So I'm using Windows, so if you click on the one that you use and basically download Calibri. Once you've downloaded it to your desktop, you'll need to install it. Okay, then. so once it's downloaded, if you double click on it, it brings up the installer. Okay, so you have to accept the terms, click install. Fairly standard stuff for installing an application. Okay, then once the application is finished installing, click on finish. Okay, so once you open up the Calibri application, you'll see along the top you've got Add Books, Edit Metadata, Convert Your Books, View, Center Device. Um, so at the moment, I've got my iPad plugged in. If you look further along, it actually says Device and it shows the iPad. It, like I said, it works for the Kindle and other ebook readers as well. Um, so you can fetch news, you can save to disk, uh, you can remove the books and you've got preferences on the end. So we're going to add a book in and convert it to the iPad format. So what I'm going to do if I click the little drop down, add a book from single directory, go to my Dropbox, uh, go into master PDFs and I've got this Exchange 2010 PDF here. Uh, if you look down here where it says books, these are all the different file formats that you can convert from. So if I just open that up, as you can see now that's adding it into the application. Okay, so now that's in the application, you can see it in the main window here. Uh, so what you'll probably want to do when you add in, sometimes it doesn't add all the metadata correctly or that sometimes it's missing. So if you click the little drop down and click edit metadata individually, and then this other window pops up. If I just resize the window for you. So as you can see here, you've got the title of the book, uh, authors, you can give it ratings, publishers, tags, all that sort of thing if it's a series. It also shows up the image for the book as well, which is quite nice. So you can change all that sort of data. Okay, so then the next stage is really, really is to convert the book to the file format that you need. Um, so if you click the little drop down, it's to convert books. You can convert individual books. So if you've got, say, 10 books you want to convert, you can do a bulk convert. But we're just going to do the single convert. Okay, so once you've clicked the convert button, you've got some tabs along the, along the side. So metadata, again, you can change any d information here if you need to. Um, you've got look and feel. Now, there are quite a few options, which I'm not going to go through them all because it will take forever. Uh, but if you look through here, you can remove spacing between paragraphs and all that sort of thing. Um, if you then come down, you've got heuristics processing. I, I don't really touch that. I'll leave that alone. You've got page setup. Now, this is the the bit you need to do. So the output profile is going to be the device you're sending it to. So for example, I would select iPad because I've got an iPad. Or if you look down the list, you can see all these other generic ones. Uh, if I come down, you'll see the Kindle, Kindle DX, Microsoft Reader, all those sorts of things. So I'm going to select iPad. The input profile, just leave as it is. Structure detection is how it processes all the, the table of contents and the headings. I generally leave that alone. Uh, if you come down to the table of contents here as well, you can set some different options in here. And again, I generally leave it alone. Um, uh, you've got search and replace and you've got PDF inputs. So like I said, that's all set up here. So the input format is PDF and the output format is EPUB, which is for the iPad. If you wanted to convert it for a Kindle, you would just select the MOBI uh, format here. And like I said, you've got quite a few different formats. So I'm going to leave it on EPUB and literally all you have to do now is click on OK. And then if you look in the bottom right hand corner, it says uh, jobs one. Uh, so that's now processing that job for us. So it was a P it was a PDF. It's now going to convert it into the EPUB format. So if you just wait for that job to finish. OK, then so once that's finished, you'll notice now next to the PDF uh, section, We've now got an EPUB section. So if I click on that, this is now the EPUB copy of the PDF. 
So the process now to get that onto the, the iPad, the Kindle, whatever device it may be, is all you literally have to do is plug it in. And as you can see here from the device section, it, it's recognized it's the iPad. And all I need to do now is click on send to device. And if you look in the bottom right hand corner again, it's doing an, another job. So that's going to be sending it over now. Okay, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to convert your PDF uh, into a readable format for the iPad, Kindle, whatever the device may be. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, leave any comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.